Network rollout has traditionally been presented as a phased approach based on design, engineering, installation, and acceptance. But with 5G, networks are getting increasingly complex to deploy, upgrade, and expand with additional obstacles like spectrum, complexity, and multi-vendor deployment models. I'm joined today by Ericsson's Head of Network Deployment Offering Evolution to discuss some of these complexities and what Ericsson is doing to help its customers address them. Ibru, thanks for joining me. As I mentioned, network rollouts are becoming more complex. But let's get more specific. Ibru, how has the process of, of network deployment had to change in response to these new challenges? Uh, indeed, telecoms industry has traditionally segregated the data, applications, organizations that generally resulted in delivery systems which are disconnected and localized in nature. So when we considered the structured implementation and when we added the growing complexity of our networks, which are dri driven mainly by virtualization, cloud, 5G, uh, we decided to do a thorough analysis on how we could optimize our tools, data, processes, and organization to provide the most effective and comprehensive solution to all these industry-wide challenges. Um, so we collect a huge amount of data that describes installed base across different phases of the network life cycle and if in different cadences. But the industry has segmented them in a way that based on your timing of your engagement, whether you're building or you're maintaining, it gets very difficult to optimize, optimize each standalone phase. So when we add on the complexity and type of our applications and data describing the site, which are mainly con configuration data, logical software data, physical component information, services information, uh, they are traditionally kept in different systems and structures. What intelligent deployment effectively does is it connects all the phases of deployment, all the information using a common methodology, common processes, common data structures. It is effectively going to allow us to simplify the complexity of taking the information from the initial phase and leveraging that information to improve subsequent phases. As NRO is the first phase that starts capturing the data, the data management starts with network rollout. Now, intelligent deployment is going to start by streamlining and simplifying our processes and data structures, and it's going to make our data portable, modular. When we apply intelligent deployment, we're going to have standard process uh, processes reflected on our data model and our applications. Once we do that, our activity performances will definitely improve. With the introduction of digitalization and data-driven processes, Ericsson is creating more value for its customers with fewer manual resources. Can you tell me more about some of the tools the company is using to achieve this? Well, we define data is the key. Once we collapse the multiple number of data sources that we need to interpret to set the basis for our decisions, it can be an investment decision, it can be a life cycle management decision, it can be anything, right? We can simplify how we visualize and interrogate the data throughout this common source of data. When we can standardize our description of an installed base to a single format, we are going to be able to optimize the effort to translate, handle, and transport that data. We are going to minimize the translation required and the risks associated with manual intervention. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to make it far more predictable because it's going to be much more accurate. And for sure, we also constantly improve our capabilities by introducing current technology in our services. And we do it at every level, from data capture through drones, lasers, and sites, to enhanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities in our lifecycle management process. Once we ingest the data into our global system that we're building, and it's going to be in a standard format, the benefits of using this standard data will be numerous. It's going to allow predefined and customer-specific use cases. And we can analyze the networks. We can address proactively with higher precision. Uh, we're going to be much more dynamic, seeing the patterns and behaviors that we weren't really able to see visually, manually. And it's going to give us insights into which we might not have yet considered effectively. 
Now, obviously, it's going to make every decision making process more insightful. It's going to automate activities. What cost and time savings do these tools offer your customers? Well, that's a very correct question. Of course, we will be providing multiple benefits to the customers. We can start with saying using standardized data and processes benefits almost every part of delivery support process. The total cost of ownership will definitely be improved. Second comes to my mind with the common and harmonized data and processes and with the global systems that we are building around it, it's going to allow us to interrogate data, automate tasks at each stage of services, be it from design to lifecycle management. And we're going to be able to compare performances globally. The level of precision for site or entire networks or even entire countries definitely is going to help us and our customers to understand and plan our investment cycles. Once we capture and maintain the data in the networks, it is definitely improve our proactivity and response cycles to meet customer demands for investment decisions. We're going to be having insights and capability to understand and analyze the needs much better and faster. And this is going to give us great flexibilities to provide solutions to current network pain points, as well as the predicted potential challenges in a future time frame. And as this will be highly automated, it will be more dynamic. Less resources will be allocated in the decision making process, so it's going to leave less room for potential human errors. As we all know, Ericsson consistently invests on IPR based solutions, which are enhanced with our own business logic. We invest a considerable amount year over year. Currently, we are working on industrial, industrializing our proven capabilities, and we want to share these benefits with the services ecosystem of our customers. I'm referring to Ericsson's specific capabilities that effectively addresses a specific service activity, or it can be our generic global data-driven lifecycle management solution, which is a multi-vendor, agnostic, and generic in process. For our customers who already have chosen Ericsson as their trusted partner, they will keep benefiting from our constantly improving IPR-based solutions for sure. But for new customer segments, other customers, which doesn't benefit from our Ericsson services as of today, they're going to have the chance to access to Ericsson IPRs. Ibru, thanks so much for walking us through how Ericsson is helping its customers navigate network deployment and management.